Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a, a video. So I'll just get lathered up. And just to start off the winter season, um, I'm doing this demo, demo with uh, a new razor to my collection. This demo is going to be for people, guys who are new to shaving, wet shaving or shaving with a straight razor. It's all about how to get the best shave. So today I'll be doing a double pass and the the way that I um, particularly do it, I do it the old fashioned barber's way. So to start off with, um, it's all in preparation of your beard and if you get a flannel about this sort of size and soak it in really hot water as, as hot as you can stand it and then hold that onto your face for about 30 seconds and repeat three times and this will really soften the beard uh, and use a good quality soap I recommend Mitchell's wool fat soap really brilliant stuff nice creamy and uh, or the Pro Rato Red uh, it's got uh, sandalwood in it um, excellent recommendation and today I've just uh, restored this little Puma it's got some beautiful etching engraving as you can see there it's uh, restored quite nicely there's, there's a few little blemishes but nothing to write home about and it's got the original Puma logo there uh, now this is as, it, as Puma say made from Puma steel Solingen um, it's in, this particular razor is incredibly sharp really really smooth so I'm just going to test it out so for the first pass you stretch your skin remember this is for people not people who are used to using a straight razor this is for newbies you know they're getting used to the idea of using a straight razor and getting your confidence so you start with your first pass short strokes Don't repeat it too many times, just one or two strokes is enough. That's taking it off. Um, and stretch your skin tight. The reason you stretch your skin is that you, the surface area of your face becomes flatter. See, just one pass. There's no need for repeated one, two, three, four. No, there's no need for three blades or these. Just a single blade is enough. Some of these vintage razors are made from the, the best steel you can ever get. This one is absolutely really smooth.
Oh, incidentally, um, I'm actually the first pass I'm going with the grain. Not against the grain, otherwise it'd be a bit tough, you know. Move the old tash out of the way. You're getting a bit longer, you know, so I have to be careful about catching it with the heel. Again, pull, pull your skin nice and tight. And just one pass. In fact, this razor is so good, even although I say it myself, I think I'll do a little bit of sculpting with it around the old trash. Um, glasses on for this one. And uh, I think we'll have a bit of a separation here. A bit tough that beard. <laughs> already a bit neater another useful thing is with the fleshy cheek parts if you just stick your tongue in the cheek and it will tense up the Tense up the surface area. And the technique with doing close stuff like this is you sort of rotate it the blade within your finger and your thumb and let the blade do the work Okay, so that's your first pass out of the way. So just rinsing the blade, keep moving. 
just rinse your blades off, don't leave it wet uh, so some blades can actually um, get water stains while you're preparing your beer again believe it or not so that's your first pass all your whiskers there so I'll rinse that off and um, I'm just going to disappear out of view for a second or two while um, I prepare the skin for the second pass right, so it's all in preparation and it's, it's worth taking the time because you, if you have a shave like this with a straight razor unless you've got a really really tough beard you, you won't need to shave again for two or three days I don't anyway, I won't be shaving it's Saturday today I won't be shaving again until Tuesday next week after this shave so I'll drop the flannel, get it nice and hot I'm just going to disappear for a couple of seconds So, reapply the soap. Sometimes the soap could actually dry on your skin because your skin's hot. So I'll just if that happens, just reapply it. Reapply the soap. Okay, so now for the second pass. Slightly different technique. Instead of short strokes, we're still doing single strokes, but longer, the full length. I not, you'll notice that I'm not repeating any strokes, it's just a single stroke. That's it. And this time, I'm uh, going against the grain. It's dried up a little bit. It's quite a thick salt there, so it dries pretty quick. So stretch your skin with your free hand.
I'm going against the ground now. Up. Let's brush the tash out of the way. <laughs> it's a shame to lose it after all these months. Again, I'm going against the grain and I missed a long bit there. Again, stretch your skin. With your free hand. Uh, just uh, go around this. Sculpted area of my tash and gauze. Tied up in the loose ends. So that's the second pass. Um, that's near, nice and neat. Now finally, to get the perfect shave, if any of you have been to a decent barber and had a shave with a barber, they've got an old fashioned way, a barber will always finish off with his fingers to feel any bits that you've missed. So I don't bother lathering up again, I just use the residual soap on my face. And there's a few spots there. And you can use a buffering technique. You actually buff it, polish it. And just using just using a wet hand is enough. You can feel all the any imperfections that you you've missed. Your beard sometimes grows at um, unusual angles, shall we say. There's one in particular on my chin here. I have to tackle it from a different angle. There we go. Let's 
bit just there. Some guys can use both hands, you know, they can use the left hand. But I wouldn't trust myself with that. That's it. How to do the perfect shape. with an incredibly sharp Puma really good value at, um, as well for less than 90 quid you know very good value last year lifetime that razor if we don't have so many I'll keep it for myself <laughs> But I've got water and I've got too many razors. I can't hang on to all of them. So I'm, I'm going to strop this now. Just dry it off on a towel. And then if you strop your razor about 30 times on the canvas or leather side, and that'll get rid of any uh, residual moisture that the unseen to the naked eye and keep your razor in tip top condition leave your razor then on the side not in the bathroom there's too hu too much humidity and then um, after a, a day or so just cover your blade in grease I use Vaseline and that will preserve your blade for your lifetime okay thanks very much for watching and uh, catch up with you later on in the week. Thank you. Bye.